Welcome to our channel. We are Technic Force and we help grow your business online. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates. Notebook LM Quick Guide Google recently released a brand new AI platform called Notebook LM and it may change how you do your research, how you do your note taking online, and how you organize all your information. Notebook LM is basically an AI powered notebook, but you could ask questions from all your research. You could organize your ideas in a brand new way. I think a much more organized way and is powered by Google's latest AI Gemini model. Let me show you around Notebook LM. You could access it at notebooklm.google.com and it may be limited based on your country right now. So just search on notebooklm.google.com to get it right here. You can see it has an easy user face and they have some examples they can go ahead and test out at the beginning. If you prefer to work in light mode, just go up to the settings. It can make that quick switch back and forth. And you also notice that we have Notebook LM Help or FAQ, send feedback, and a Discord you could join there. Let's go ahead now and go and create a new notebook. So when we go ahead and click on it, you will see this is where we add our sources to. So we can upload our sources or I can choose a file and go from this way and grab documents. So I can grab a PDF. You'll see now for my sources, I just have the one. But you can still add more. But even at this one, I can do things like create the podcast based on this one right here. I could go ahead and click generate. But I'm going to come back to this. I want to upload a few more documents. So I'm going to go ahead and click the plus here. And we'll go ahead and just drag another one in here. And you can see now we have multiple ones because as I drag up this information, these documents that I've already curated, now I'm going to be able to have a discussion with this notebook LM and they'll be able to find connections between them based on what I'm telling it to look for. So let's go ahead. Let's add a few more. This time I have a web link over here, Joseph and AI documents. I'm going to go back and just go to the website. I can paste a URL right here to get my third one. I can also go into things like YouTube, Google Docs, or Google Slides. So if I click on Google Docs, I should have a Google Docs right in here that I can insert. And we'll go ahead and put in some Google Slides also. So you can see all the different sources that I put in. Now we can cross-reference them and try to see what connections that are between them. So we've added some PDFs, Google Slides, Google Docs. And let's say we just came back from a class and we want to quickly add those notes from the proof. If I go back to add source, I can paste in the text here. So I go copy text. I can paste in the information and hit insert. And then you can see right away we have this as part of what AI will reference. I don't want to have this called pasted text. So I'm just going to go and rename the source. You can also remove the source. So if I could just go rename, I'm going to go and call this just notes from class. Just because to keep things simple. So we have these six different sources. If I look down below, I have the six different sources here. So since they're all checked, I could start asking questions over here, just like the normal AI. But what I want to show you first, if I click on any of them, so let's click on this PDF. I can see the summary right here of that document. And I really like that they have these key topics that will be generated for each of these articles. If I scroll down below, you can see the content. But if I go and click here, it's going to go ahead and find that information in the source here and place it here and everything's going to be cited as well. So here we go. If we take a look at this, I'll scroll up a little bit. Whenever you see this, this is going to be cited. So it will show me where that they're pulling this from. So the information I give it and then I can double check what they're writing to make sure that this is real. This is not a hallucination that sometimes AI can do. If I click on it, it will bring me to that spot in the document. I love that feature. So this becomes part of the chat with AI. I'm just going to close here. And right now I'm in the chat. So if I go down, I can continue asking questions. They're even prompting me here. So if I click this, for example, then AI will double check this for that specific question based on all the different check marks that I have. Now, when you come across any of these that you like, you can save it as a note. You can also copy the text from here. But if you want to save it as a note, just click here and it becomes part of the notes. And you can use it as you click on it. You can see how you can add note, delete notes from here and convert all notes to source. Here in chat, you can see the conversation here as I've asked different questions from the documents as I go through. And still you can check the setting. 
What I really like are these features. So it helped me create an FAQ, a study guide, timeline, briefing doc. So let's do a little example here. Maybe I just uncheck a few of these here. I'll just use these two PDFs. Can it make me a study guide? Let's find out. So if I go ahead and click this, this is going to generate me a study guide. And in the study guide, it's going to give me questions and answers and essay possibilities based on these two articles. Here's the study guide. You can see we have our question and answers here. And if I keep scrolling down, here we have essay questions. I'm just going to go and close out of this and let's create the podcast. And it's so easy to do. So if I go again and select all the sources here, all I have to do is click on generate. And it just takes a couple of minutes. I will make you watch the whole thing, but then we're going to have this podcast and we can even download it. Here we go. It's all ready. Let's click play. Welcome to our deep dive all about AI. Okay. We're going to do that. We're going to unpack how it works, why it matters, and what might be coming next, what the future holds. And what's really cool is your sources cover AI from its very beginnings all the way to what could be possible in the future. Like yeah. we'll be able to connect those dots okay, well, yeah. and see how the technical stuff could actually impact you. Isn't that great? How real that sounds and how quick it was generated. So now what you could do with this is if we click on the ellipses, we can go ahead and download this as an MP3. So you could take it with you and if you're on a drive or if you can put it on any device to listen to and you're studying as you listen to this podcast, you can also delete it and change the playback speed here as well. There is also share up top. Whenever you're inside one of your notebooks, you can share this out. Now, as you can see down here, there is an interactive mode. And it says beta. This has been fairly recently released feature, which allows you to essentially join in the conversation. So as you can see, you can play the recording and what it will do is it will commence the podcast with everyone. So it's really cool. What you can do is join the session and essentially it almost tops the podcast as you're going through it and then allows you to communicate. And what you can do during the session is react to this, saying this is a good discussion, bad discussion, providing some feedback as well as downloading it. So obviously this main central column is for you to chat and communicate. So I hope you like this walkthrough, a tutorial of how to use Notebook LM. This is one of my favorite AI tools here. I just love how quickly you can go through research and make connections between different articles based on the information that you created. Let me know what you think about this video and how much you are using it. Thanks for watching. Before we end this video, let me introduce to you Voicey, the ultimate AI voice and language toolkit. Unleash your creativity in any language with hundreds of lifelike voices, voice to text and translations. Get access to all major voice AIs, create narrations, voiceovers and conversations. The only voice toolkit with automation, convert text to audio, audio to text, audio to audio and change language. The only AI voice toolkit that gives you all the top AIs. OpenAI Whisper, Microsoft Voice, Google Neural Voice, Amazon AI, IBM AI, and a lot more. Go beyond voiceovers and narrations. Voice lets you create conversations with two or more speakers. Save hundreds in voice and processing charges. Voice gives you cheap access to expensive platforms through our special agreements. No monthly fee or charges payable to the platform that you want to use. Good prices and savings over high price and user deals. Access to platforms, voices, and capabilities that are not available to normal users. Create multilingual website pages. Grab more leads, sales, and prospects with multilingual websites. Hundreds of languages. Work with all the prominent languages of the world. Speak your audio in any accent. Voice supports foreign voice accents in speech patterns, even exotic ones. All major global accents available in all major global languages, US, UK, and dozens of other accents. Create dramas, conversations, narrations, fictions, podcasts, and anything you want. Grow your business in any market. Translate ads, podcasts, and create local blogs, conversations, stories in any language. Show up in unexpected places. Appear in local search engines, directories, and websites with local content. The most affordable voice AI system. Use popular AIs without buying an account or paying subscription. Be everyone's voice and language expert. Every business needs voice and language content. Tap this huge market with Voicey. Voicey is getting better and better. New voices, new languages, and new AIs added all the time. So what are you waiting for? Get Voicey now. Just go to getvoicey.in. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and ring that notification bell. 
And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.